here, I'm going to share with you today how I blow dry my hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in my leave-in moisturizer. So I'm going to put in Rich Repair um, Six Effect Serum. So this is going to act as my hydration product for my blonde hair. So I'm starting at the ends, working it through, and now whatever remains on my hair, I'm going to apply it closer to my roots. And then I'm going to go in with the Kerasilk Forming Shape Spray, which is this one here. And what this is going to give me is volume, hold, and it will also give me an awesome amount of heat protection. So I actually like a little bit into the roots of my hair. So I section with using my finger like that, and I just go one spray into the roots, and I just keep going through all the way like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my hair dryer on full speed, but just medium heat, and I'm going to take out some of the moisture first, so about 40% of the moisture before I touch it with a brush. So now that about 40% of the moisture has been taken out, it's going to be much faster when I blow dry with a brush. So I'm going to brush it with one of our Aiku brushes to get it all nice and detangled. So where we're going to section the hair to blow dry is from, my hair's quite fine, so I'm going to go from the top of the ears, across, and then start with underneath. If you've got thicker hair, you might want to start even lower, so sort of halfway down your ear and across, but I can go from top of the ear, and then we'll go from end of the eyebrow, sort of in your temple area, across, that'll be section two, and then the recession area here where your hairline starts to curve back here. That's where I'll go for my section number three. We'll do the front last and I'll explain you to you some cool tips on how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to explain to you is the brush that I'm using. So we use YS Park brushes at Dextrous. So these brushes are super high quality. They're all handmade in Japan and they last for so long. And what they do is they actually, when you put the brush in underneath the hair, they actually grip the hair really firmly for you and you can glide that brush through without any tearing. It doesn't rip the hair, it's really comfortable, but it actually picks up the hair. So I won't turn on my hair dry just yet. I'll explain how we actually go about the action of blow drying. So in underneath here, this is probably the area that most people struggle with because it's at the back. So what you want to do is lift up your arm, lift up your shoulder and put, your, put the brush in sort of in line with your hairline and you want to really kind of Feel the bristles on your scalp. So feel those bristles on your scalp and you're gonna hold your hair dryer. You can go in front like this or you can put your arm around the back. I probably prefer to do that. And then you wanna use the, the nozzle always on your hair dryer, the nozzle. The nozzle will help to direct the airflow really, really precisely, gliding it down the hair. And I quite like mine sort of at the length that it is. I just sort of curve it forward. But if you had long hair, a suggestion would be to do the roots underneath here with your arm up like that and then you could, to save your shoulders, bring the brush around here and go like that and go through the length of your hair.
So at this point, you're gonna be really sore, but you just gotta push on, you've only got a little bit left to go. <laughs> Most of your hair dryers will have a cool shot. So on the Dyson's, it's just underneath the um, on button. So it's just down here and I'm going to go through and just do a few passes on the cool shot to smooth down the cuticle before I start the top. So now for the most important section of your blow dryer. So this section on top is what's going to make the difference between that feeling that you get when you have your hair blow dried at the salon. So what I'm going to explain, I am going to just sort of section that top part away and then with this section at the front here, what you're going to do with this is use your round brush, push it forward over your eyes and then we're going to go to the side. The brush is always going to sit on top of the hair. I will go underneath a couple of times, but not till the hair's dry. So you want to put the brush on top and stretch it over to the side. And then you want to put it on top and stretch it over to the other side. And then stretch it forward. And then I'm going to go up underneath and create a really beautiful shape and volume through the front. section you want to get the hair dryer in really close to the roots to flatten out any sort of cowlicks or any of those hairline issues that you might have where it separates this is going to help with that but what you should be doing when you're doing that part of your hair is blow drying it on a lower heat setting so the lowest heat the better so then that way you won't be hurting your scalp obviously you won't be burning it when you get in that close so now that we've finished the front section of the hair, if you wear your hair with a really strong part, this is the time to put in your part. So how you would do that is brush your hair back and when you blow dry it like that, your hair should fall wherever you like. So if you wanted it part in. So then the, the next part here, this top section is sort of 80% dry, but to finish that section off, if you like that hair from sort of here back to go back, you would then just pick up that section with your fingers like that, where it's still a little bit down. The brush in here, and you're going to go straight up and get volume in there, like this, straight up and blow dry that back. That will give you a nice sort of poppiness on the crown. So now I'm just gonna use the cool shot again and just do one last run over with the cool air just to really set the blow dry before I put some finishing product in. So now that I'm happy with how I've blow dried it, what I'm going to do is finish it with what I've chosen is the dry boost. So this is like a mixture between a dry shampoo and a hairspray. So this will give me some volume at the roots and a really nice like dusty texture. So I'm going to use my finger to section how I was sectioning to blow dry. Spray it into the roots, into the roots, into the roots. massage it in and then that'll give me an awesome hold for the day huge thank you to Paxton for requesting a medium length blow dry video I hope that you got something out of it Paxton but I'm sure everyone else will too thanks for watching I hope that gave you some tips and tricks on how to blow dry your own hair at home everything that I used in my hair obviously we have at dexterous and it's available so send us a message on Facebook Instagram any of our platforms we'll be happy to help thank you